by Anthony Vargas, Bernabe Lopez, Victor Velasco, Dylan Najarao, Emmanuel Coronado, Francisco Segura, Timothy Ospina, Best Imena, Abe Ashby, Bennett Carlson, and Cesar Elizonde. The card of course, are... Constant is the Incarnate Word goalkeeper. He's the keeper, correct. Uh, the head coach for Incarnate Word is Kiki Lada. He's assisted by Carlos Sedin Castell. Now for host UTRGV, they will begin in goal with Garrett Wild. On defense, Tristan Singh, Jan Angles, and Anthony Pathy. In the midfield, Yusef Jujuliu, Jose Cantu, Raul Carillo, and then a slew of forwards for UTRGV in this one, Moyad Ankir, Michael Washington, and Martin Tellez. UTRGV is led by head coach Brahim Hancock. He's assisted by associate head coach Kyle Tim and A.J. Madero, you charge if he enters this one at 5-7-3, and 3-4-1 three, three, in the WAC. Carnet Word, as mentioned in the pregame, is 2-11. and 11. Cardinals in the red moving right to left. Vaqueros in the white moving left to right. Cross your computer screen, television screen, tablet, phone, or other internet-enabled device. If you are watching us in a moving car, please don't, unless you are not driving. If you're not the driver, good driver. You can listen. Eyes on the road, please. See some of the early action in front of the Vaqueros goal. That's Velasco, it gets sent away. Juja Ulu, side of the box and booted away by Singh. Quite a bit of pressure from Incarnate Word here early on. Perhaps they've got a little swagger in their step coming off of two straight victories, first two victories of the year. Those coming by a combined total of 4-1, to 2-1 to one over Santa Clara, 2-0 over Utah Tech. Garrett Wild gets his first touch as a Vaquero, Brian, and, you know, Wild graduate transfer, he's a local kid from Brownsville, but, you know, this is certainly not his first rodeo. Yeah, had some significant time at CSU Pueblo, Vision Two school. Now making some time and presence here for UTRGV, and he's a nice big presence in goal. You take a look at him filling up the goal now, 6'2", 160. He's got a lot of space to cover and has the frame to do just that. Last year at CSU Pueblo, played in 22 matches, 21 starts, 820 save percentage, 074 goals against average, 10 shutouts. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Think about what a luxury that is for you, you charge to be to have. You know, their normal keeper, Simon Madsen, has done a really nice job in net all season. To think you've got somebody waiting in the wings right behind him, like Garrett Wild, that could come in on the midweek game like this and give you some strong minutes. Uh, Alexis Gonzalez done a nice job as part of the keeper solution as well. Also from Brownsville, so you've had Madsen and Gonzalez, the two freshmen. Seeing all the time, Wild getting his first chance out there. Great to see him get some minutes on the pitch. Well, you know, when we came in here, when the sun went up this morning, because, you know, we've been here that long, had to open the gates. They lock them at night, as you might expect. Had to pull out a key. Brian, do you have a key or maybe even keys got for this match? Got a couple keys we can look at. For UTRGV, it's going to be about what they can do to apply sustained pressure in the box. Remember this Speaking of sustained pressure, Baltazar has it. They're at the top of the box right now. Tellez, give it over to Ankir. Oh, Vaqueros back it up a little, head toward the top of the box. Washington gets his feet on it. Uh, then Carnot Ward's gonna take it over. A little too aggressive there for Washington, leads to the foul. But for UTRGV, if you think back to their last time out against 
Grand Canyon. They picked up two goals by just collapsing on the box. Rebounds, put the ball in a good spot. They're able to sneak two past the Lopes. And that's really going to be a key for you, Charge V, here against what's been a great defensive front for Incarnate Word. Can they apply pressure to the box? That first shot, maybe even the second shot, might not slip through against Constant, the keeper. But if they keep that pressure going, very likely they're going to find some scoring opportunities similar to what they saw against Grand Canyon. On the other side for Incarnate Word, it's going to be about maintaining that efficient passing and then using that efficient passing to lead to some good strikes. We talked about in the pregame. We'll talk about it here again. This has been a pretty good defensive front for Incarnate Word where they really find themselves lacking throughout the early part of the season was their inability to score. They weren't giving up a lot, but they also weren't scoring. As we said, it led to 11 straight off losses to open the year. They've come back with two straight victories, outscoring their opponents 4-1 to one across those last two. A big part of that, well, they're scoring goals. And if you score goals, you can find some victories. Carol's bringing it in toward their attacking third. But Incarnate Word's going to get a free kick. So they'll have the keeper, Constant, come up. Freshman. Beautiful night for soccer. Couldn't get any better than this. 76 degrees. A couple of miniature clouds in the distance, nothing directly overhead. The sun starting to set. Gentle breeze. 12 miles an hour. Everything you could ask for for a soccer match. Right side comes Tellez. One heads out, Angles throws it in. Jujulu. Sing. Back for Wild. Plays it with his feet, back to Sing. Angles. Out it goes. Vargas. Sent over the net by Ankir. Goal kick coming for Constant. So you charge V ready to strike when the opportunity presents itself. Ankir given some room to operate. Got a little bit under that one. It floats over the top. But you like to see that pressure from you charge V and go ahead and put some strikes at the box. Bouncing balls in the box are only going to be good things for you charge V, especially when they're in their attacking third. Angles, is it all the way back to Wild? <laughs> Up the left side, Washington. Carol was trying to keep it in with Ankir. And that one's just going to be booted out. Deep throw incoming for Carlson.
some tremendous pressure we're seeing from Incarnate Word in this one. I like their ability just to continue to apply pressure as Uchi V has been checking that ball back to Wild in goal. There's always been two and sometimes even three Cardinals just kind of racing back to keep pressure on. What does that do for you? Well, if you charge if he misplays that ball back to Wild or Wild misplays it back forward again, you've got a couple Cardinals in a good spot to pick that up and perhaps build a really nice counter into the net. Well, that was a uh, constant kicked it out. Velasco leapt up and caught it. He was already out. And there was, I guess he figured, well, save the, the ball shagger a run, which was very nice of him. So the Carols will throw it in now in their attacking third. Looking for Ankir, but it gets beyond him. Carlson taps it back. Mena. Now oh, here come the Vaqueros. Singh up the field looking for Washington. It's headed away. Free kick coming for UTRGV. Wild sends it short to Cantu, gets it back, and sends it out toward midfield. Worth mentioning, this is a very young Incarnate Word squad. Only eight upperclassmen, junior, senior, graduate student, compared to some 15 freshmen and five sophomores, so it's a very Ryan young Incarnate Word squad. Student athletes, time to give you today's helper, helper, code word of the match. Are you ready? Today's helper, helper, code word of the match, word. W-O-R-D, word. Today's helper, helper, code word of the match. Juju Ulu at the top, left foot shot, save made by Constant. So with the youth on this Incarnate Word squad, you expect them to need some time just to kind of gel, get some experience. And that may be a big reason why they had such a struggle to start the year, but they found some success, winners of their last two. In fact, it was just the second time all season that Incarnate Word has scored in back-to-back -back matches. Prior time coming very early in the year, November 2nd and 4th, when they scored in a pair of matches against St. Thomas. Which is located in Minnesota. And then came back to get two scoring matches, the win against Santa Clara, and then again against Utah Tech. <laughs> Rough schedule for Incarnate Word this year on the road. Most of it, just three home matches. The life of an independent. There just aren't a lot of men's soccer programs in the state of Texas. Four this year. That's who you're watching, Houston Christian and SMU in the American. Tarleton, also a WAC member, will be coming online in the near future.
You'll have 60% of the men's soccer programs in the state of Texas once Tarleton's online. And now it's 50% in the WAC. It's quite a stat. The WAC is bigger in Texas. Oh, yeah. No D1 conference has more Texas members than the WAC. CTRGV, Sam Houston, it's Tarleton, it's Evelyn Christian, it's Stephen F. Austin, it's UT Arlington. That's about a quarter of all the D1s in Texas are in the WAC. I mean, think about the number of Texas teams that have had seasons in the WAC. Rice, a former WAC member. UTEP, a former WAC member. Yeah, there's a lot. And the WAC has always been well represented in the state of Texas. In fact, the WAC's office now in Arlington. They're going to have a Big announcement about that tomorrow. Relocation. Previously in the Denver, Colorado area. Yeah. Now in Arlington, Texas. Yeah, I mean, when you're half, half your schools are in Texas, makes sense. the sounds of the UTRGV drum line. Gives a whole different atmosphere to soccer when you've got the drum line there to give the heartbeat to the action. Washington coming into the box and it's offside. Well, that's one of the things I've really loved about what UTRGV has done with their men's and women's soccer programs. So it's important to do it for both. Yeah. And you see the drum line at men's and women's soccer matches. And I love the, the atmosphere. It's pretty much the same for both men's and women's soccer. TRGV does a great job with that. Great facility here at the Utah to be Soccer and Track and Field Complex. Absolutely beautiful. You're getting a nice look at the pitch. Extremely well maintained. We've got a really nice press box that's just opened this year. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you noticed when we walked in. Hold on, Juju Ulu on his way in. Now it's sent out. So. There's construction going on. I'm sure you noticed it's impossible to miss. <laughs> so when the complex first opened, there were locker rooms in these portable buildings, temporary, where the teams could change. And they had that until we were able to build, or UTRGV was able to build these uh, larger buildings. And they're being constructed right now as part of $30 million in renovations that UTRGV Athletics is making to support facility enhancements for the existing 16 sport programs. So they're constructing they like to two really big buildings. Tonight, I don't have the square footage on me. They look big Alpha though. <laughs> <laughs> that will ha have Delta Zeta, beautiful Delta new locker Delta rooms. Rendering is incredible. You can find them at goutrgv.com under athletics, click on facilities. And they'll have Locker rooms, men's, women's soccer, men's, women's track and field. They'll have a brand new training room, which, you know, they've had a training room. They still do. They just, they moved the portable buildings to allow for the construction. So now they're just uh, in the, a little further, instead of being, you know, a 10 foot walk. Now it's, I'm bad at measurements. We're going to call it 50 to 100 feet. <laughs> There's a cross and a grab made by Constant. It might be more, might be less. I don't have a concept of that. But well, come out to the soccer and track and field complex yeah, and get take a, a look, look at it. Yeah. Exactly. There tell, you go. Tell us how far it is. Yeah, that would be a great idea. 
show up, buy a ticket. You can tell us how far it is. Maybe it's 200. Regardless, so the, the nice thing is that, you know, they still have their locker rooms and training room while the construction is occurring. Such a great thing that they were able to do. Instead of saying, all right, well, while construction is happening, well, you're just not going to have a locker room. It's like, well, we'll make sure you're covered. And I know everybody's appreciative of that. And yeah, they'll have the new sports medicine facility. There'll be new offices. And it, it's, it's amazing what they're doing here really make sure they support these two soccer programs and all student athletes because all the programs are having major upgrades to their facilities done right now and over the course of the next couple of years there's a lot happening in UTRGV a lot of growth and you see that growth in athletics you see that growth in the university record freshman class this year was a 5800 ish Enrollment's north of 32,000. It's just consistently grown. You charge UTRGV now in its seventh year of existence. This was the seventh fall for UTRGV. Dive and grab by Wild there. And it's just continued to grow more and more with each passing year. And a testament not only to the wonderful administration here at UTRGV, but also the effort by this community to support their Division I institution. School of Podiatric Medicine opened up this year. One of only 10 in the nation. So if you want to be a podiatrist, go to UTRGV, uh, UT Health RGV, the medical school that opened up 2016. I mean, that's made it transformative impact on not just the university, but the entire Rio Grande Valley. They have clinics all across the valley really opened up a lot more health care access. Primary care has been a big one, but also in some, some of the specialties. Defense has reigned supreme thus far between these two. Both teams have put a couple shots on goal, but the difference, though, has been both of these defenses have done a really nice job of just grinding the opposing attack to a halt in the midfield. If you're a midfielder today, you're going to get quite a bit of action thus far. Here come the Vaqueros up the right side. There's the cross, the shot, bouncer goes wide. Juja Ulu on the doorstep after the cross by Tellez. That one hit off of Constant, and now a corner kick coming for the Vaqueros. Really nice heads-up play by Ugo Constant as well. As soon as that ball slipped through, the first thing he does is he races out towards it, cuts down the amount of space Jujulu has to set up that strike and to put it in. And I think directly resulting from him attacking that ball, Jujulu was not able to get a good strike on it. Well, it's popped high in the air. It bounces out. Goal kick coming for Constant. But not before we'll get a substitution. Coming out will be Francisco Segura. Looks like he's going to be replaced by Josiah Henderson. Ladies and gentlemen, so Segura replaced by Henderson. Seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Substitution for Incarnate Word. Now checking in number 12, Josiah Henderson for number 20, Francisco Segura. Number 12, Henderson for number 20, Segura. A grab At made by Constant there. On our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Up the left side, out it goes. Throwing coming for the Vaqueros, Angles.
Count two. That ball to his right for Juju Hulu. There's Angles. Tellez. Back for Raul Carrillo. Jujulu at the top. Gets past one defender. Left shot goes high. The Maquettos are threatening. That's four times in the span of about the last three minutes of game action that they've been able to work something into the box and put it to the foot of someone. He's able to put at least a decent strike on it. That one carries just a little bit high. You get the feeling momentum has shifted to UTRGV, and they have now got Incarnate Word back on their heels defensively. So Martin Tellez, his reaction after he sent that shot high, stayed on the ground for a second, frustrated. He knew he had a great opportunity there, but right now, as you said, the opportunities are coming. Tellez, ball knocked away. Carrillo's there. Methodical build up now for you, Charge V, but here's something. Cross, nobody there. Angles coming in behind, and Velasco is able to turn around and just send it away. Carroll's will get a well placed throw in. And two, it's forward. Angles will get called for a trip there. It's Mena tumbled. It looked like Mena and Angle's feet just got kind of tied up with each other. And they stop the clock at 16.27. And the moment they do, Mena's on his feet. Spina for Elizalde. Offside, Vicaro's ball. It's been a couple of times on each side. These forwards, a little eager, stepping just a little bit wide of that back line. Eagle eyed line judges keeping a close eye on that, and they are calling it. Cardinals trying to take that ball away and be Navarillo send it down pitch. Trickles out. Throw in coming. Carrillo to take it. The 
the substitution coming now for Incarnate Word. Taking a seat is going to be Cesar Elizalde. Ladies and gentlemen, at 29 minutes, Placed by Eduardo Perez. Perez for Elizalde. We have a substitution for the Cardinals now checking in number 10, Eduardo Perez for number 30, Cesar Elizalde. Once again at 29 minutes, 47 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Cardinal substitution number 10, Perez for number 30, Elizalde. Washington wins that ball away. Sends it ahead, Tellez. On the doorstep. There's the cross. Juju Ulu, no. For Ankir, no. Caro's coming back from midfield with Cantu. Juju Ulu, touch for Washington. Back to Juju Ulu. Ankir. Shoots, and it goes wide. That's now the fifth shot for you, Charger. They're out shooting the Cardinals five to one right now. Just still looking for that one that they can slip past Constant, though. Give themselves their first goal of this match. CTRGV again. Juju Ulu on the right. Tellez. Come the Cardinals upfield. Singh does a nice job of getting in front of it though. Now Ingles. Carrillo. Cantu. It's taken down, that's a foul. Looks like they're going to hand out the first yellow of this one. It's going to go against Best in Mena. As he gets tied up there and takes Carillo to the pitch. Two, Julu. There's Engels in front. Shoots, doesn't make it through. Rebound. Jujulu can't make contact. Still alive at the top. Engels headed away. Corner kick coming for UTRGV. Second corner for UTRGV in this one. Like said they've just been mounting pressure against Incarnate Word over the last 15 minutes of play. It's shot after shot. Here's a second opportunity from the corner. Cesar Baltazar heads to the corner. Headed back toward the sideline. Baltazar coming over, and it's going to be best to grab it. Best to Mena. Now it goes.
Ball heads out, throw in coming for UTRGV. Tellez. Thank you, Tellez. Shoots! And it goes over the net. That was deflected over the net. Another great opportunity for UTRGV, and that time, he was gonna have Constant beat. Constant was on the ground. He had left one direction. It's redirected off of the deflection off of a Cardinal. And that deflection was the only reason that wasn't in the back of the net. Juju Lu gets it back, leaves it off, shot, doesn't get through. Why out and care. Another, another corner, kick. corner for good measure here. You charge GV, another corner. You can feel that pressure. It's just stifling right now on the Cardinals. Low liner in front, popped over the net and out. Give some more credit to the Incarnate Word defense. They've been up to the task. UTRGV has brought a very nice attack into this one. But Constant and his fellow defenders have stood tall under 10 minutes left here in the first half. Tellez. Angles. Jujulu. Is the cross for Washington. Shoot. Save made. Rebound. Kicked away. And a deep throw in coming for UTRGV. What a spectacular save and an even better clearance kick there for Incarnate Word. They kept that in to avoid another corner. Looking for Washington headed away. Angles trying to get in front of it. And it's offside. Incarnate Word takes over. Come the Cardinals on the attack. That's broken up by Patty. Seven minutes to play in the first half. Make sure you stay tuned at halftime. We're gonna tell you a little bit about the Lou Hill Memorial Plaza. Angles with the head of steam. Cross doesn't make it through, gets it back. Leaves it off for Tellez, who was able to get it out off of Vargas. Corner kick, Vaqueros. That's number six of the day. Carnet Word is just defending on a razor thin wire, but somehow they've got enough. They've been able to keep U Charge V out of the net. One sent toward midfield and out. And Kier. <laughs> he tried to throw it in, but not very close to where the ball went out. So the official says, no, nah, no, no, no. So Angles will throw it in from about midfield.
Velasco. Perez. Jimena. For Espina. And Kier breaks it up, and here come the Vaqueros. And Kier looking for a pass, doesn't get through. The Cardinals turn it around. Several players in the stands, and a couple of you charging Vaqueros thought there was a handball there. Official does not blow his whistle. Baltazar goes down. Free kick coming for UTRGV. Into the box, headed away. Cantu. And he forces a turnover. Or no, is it going to stay within Cardinal Ward? Well, Paris kicked it out. Velasco's going to get to throw it in. Wow, look at all that contact by Ashby on Ingles. Well, that's a foul. Singh sends it back to Patty. Scored a goal against Grand Canyon. The first one before Beto Carrillo came up with his brace in the second half to lead the Caros to victory. Carrillo had two goals, 29 seconds apart. That's efficient. Washington in front, scores! <laughs> Martin Tellis puts it in. Michael Washington puts it in. The pass came from Martin Tellis for the assist. Michael Washington's just a spectacular job of putting some work in. Tellis put that right on his foot. Washington takes a stand, puts his foot right there. One quick move, and he's back around and pushing that one into the net. What a spectacular move for UTR Dream. They've been striking, they've been challenging all evening long. And take a look at what we get here. Through ball finds Michael Washington right here, 19. What does he do? Quick spin. Wide open look at the net, and he cooked that into the corner. This is our Baltazar, and assist as well. well Michael Washington's first goal of the year. The assist to number 20, Dennis. And after all of that momentum, you charge you just challenging and challenging and channeling all those shots. Finally, Michael Washington says, enough's enough. Let's put one in the net. You charge you now up 1-0. Fourth goal of Washington's career. Baltazar gets his second assist. Tellez gets his first assist. Just over a minute to play until halftime.
One minute, one minute remains on the town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Carna Word coming up the pitch with 30 seconds left. Shot wide. It was a really nice strike from Carnet Word. They weren't quite done yet here in the first half. You charge be perhaps just a little bit classic daisical defensively. Ten, nine, and the Cardinals very eight, nearly capitalized. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, so time ticks down, and the first half comes to a close with UTRGV leading Incarnate Word 1-0. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll recap the first half. We'll learn more about the Blue Hill of the conference season. You can almost draw a line right there below Grand Canyon at 2-2-2 two, 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 at 8 points. They're currently in the final playoff spot. Top 16's advance to the conference tournament, UTRGV fifth at three, four, and one at the top. Air Force has actually already clinched a berth. As we start the second half, Incarnate Words over the ball, trying to find the equalizer to tell you all about their effort. Here's Jonah Goldberg. Why, thank you, Brian Smith. I switch sides of the pitch. UTRGV in the white, moving right to left. Incarnate Word in the red, moving left to right. Across your computer screen, television screen, phone, tablet, or other internet enabled device. <laughs> KG Sukati in for UTRGV. So it's Beto Carrillo, Juan Pablo Gonzalez. This is uh, Jason Robles has the ball at his feet. A little bit of a different lineup to start the second half than we saw in the first half. Carrillo with it now, he goes down. One change for Incarnate Word to open the second half. Cesar Elizalde back in, replacing Josiah Henderson. And the aforementioned newcomers for UTRGV of Carrillo, Robles, Zucati, and Gonzalez replacing Martin Tellez, Michael Washington, Moyad Ankir, and Cesar Baltazar. <laughs> UTRGV up 1-0 on a Washington goal very late in the first half. Not for lack of opportunities, though. You charge UV, as we mentioned at halftime, out shooting Incarnate Word 12 2 overall, including 3 to 1 on goal. You charge was by far the aggressor, and that's where they ultimately found the breakthrough goal. Now the Cardinals have to find a way to respond. Otherwise, you charge UV's on a path to pick up three huge points off of a victory. Zucati. Remember, non-conference, so no points That's, at stake. You're right. I was about to say, this is a non-conference match, so no points at stake. But a win does help you charge overall standings. Oh, win is nice. I mean, UTRGV doesn't play this weekend. A little bit of an oddity in the schedule. Yeah. UTRGV has a, a weekend off. Regional schedule didn't have it that way, but there were some changes at the 11th hour. So because of that, UTRG scheduled this non-conference tilt. Got to stay sharp ahead of the WAC finale. Coming up next Saturday against Houston Christian here at home. 
Caros will have an opportunity to go compete in the WAC tournament. And when you compete in, in a conference tournament, there's an automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament on the line. Missed connection there by the Cardinals. I like the response though from Incarnate where down one goal, they could be over pressing, did a nice job of letting that attack develop quite organically. And just a slight misconnection there, but if that ball had been another foot back in toward the middle, Wilder was gonna have a real challenge on his hands. Lopez. Mena. Lopez, Mana, Lopez again. Alzalde, sets it in front over the net and out. Quite a robust cheering section for you charging in the stands this evening. A couple of uh, luchadors in Lucha Libre masks chanting for UTRGV. I think you can hear them on the Nat mic. They are spirited. And they show up to all the men's and women's soccer matches here at UTRGV. It's great to have that. Fans like that really help to bolster the student athlete experience while Kicks it off to his right. Student athlete experience, such an important thing, college athletics. And you want to make sure that you provide all of them a great experience. As the Vaqueros come into the box, shot goes wide. I mean, they're going to beckon some trainers out. That was a very hard collision in front of the net. Keeper constant is down. Carnal Words trainer running over. They're actually going to issue a yellow card to Beto Carillo, who was on the attack there for UTRGV. <laughs> for his part in that very hard collision. Constant sitting up now. This continues to receive attention from the trainer. Now on his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a yellow card at 50 minutes and 57 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock for the Vaqueros number 18, Beto Carrillo. Once again, yellow card for number 18, Carrillo, at 50 minutes, 57 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Trainer's gonna head off the field and constant will continue. Coming, Juan Pablo Gonzalez, take it. Right in front of Robles, trying to get that one. It's Navarillo trying to take it away up the left side. Raul Carrillo says no. Cardinals trying to win it back. That ball heads out. Yeah. 
Cool to see tonight in the stands. We are talking about the fans a moment ago. Women's soccer in the stands. Volleyball in the stands. Both of them have big matches tomorrow. Women's soccer with a whack match against Abilene Christian here on ESPN+. Plus. Volleyball with a whack match against Stephen F. Austin. A battle of two of the only 10 19-win teams in the NCAA. Also here on ESPN Plus tomorrow. But just because they have a match tomorrow doesn't mean they're not going to support their fellow student athletes today. So make sure you have two fully charged electronic devices. You can take in both of those matches tomorrow. Absolutely. Brian will be here. I'll be over at volleyball. I flipped a coin. And I came out ahead. I get soccer. Although that matchup may be the matchup of the year in the WAC thus far. Stephen F. Austin, UTRGB, top of the WAC standings right now. Well, Stephen F. Austin is actually in third in volleyball. They, Utah Valley is in second, but in the RPI, they have the top two RPIs in the WAC. It's UTRGB is 8-0, Utah Valley 7-1, Stephen F. Austin 7-2. But regardless. Huge matchup. Oh, it's going to be incredible. And tomorrow here at the soccer complex, you've got Breast Cancer Awareness Night. Brian's going to be wearing his pink vest. That's worth tuning in just for that. I'll be tuning in. I mean, matches are at the same time, but i got to keep my eye on what's going on here. Come to watch the match, but tune in just for that sweater vest. You're only going to see it in the pregame, folks, so you got to tune in on time. You know what's great this year? You have all all these teams at home. One team on the road this weekend. It's cross country. They're headed to the WAC Championships. They leave tomorrow morning. Compete Saturday morning. Angles coming up right side. Shot! Save made by Constant. The cool thing about so many student athletes being home is they all get to go to Madness Friday night. Men's and women's basketball teams will be introduced. Dunk contest, three-point contest, dance contest for student groups, and a lot of, a lot of fun surprises. And this incredible T-shirt giveaway. I don't know if you've seen it on social media, through the UTRGV athletics accounts, but it says "Rally the Valley," and it's, uh, it's got this, got palm trees. And it's so nice. It's for students, so I'm considering enrolling. Just for that purpose. Yes. Re-enrolling. <laughs> Just for a week. Well, I'm actually starting a, ma a master's in January. A second master's. And if only I'd started it this semester. So close. That's on me. Poor planning. There's the cross in front. And it's intercepted by Amena. So that's going to be a big party. Everybody will get to enjoy. Then Saturday, cross country competes on the road in the morning in the WAC championships. You got volleyball at home at two, women's soccer at home at 6:30. All of that on ESPN Plus. A big weekend of events here in Edinburgh. And of course, after tonight, men's soccer's next match, November 5th. 6.30 tilt against Houston Christian here on ESPN+. Plus. And then it's WAC tournament time. Oh, yeah. Already. Juju Hulu. That one heads out. How about another corner for UTRGV? First corner here of the second half. It's going to be UTRGV's sixth corner of the match. And perhaps the opportunity for an insurance goal. 
Marquette is now out shooting the Cardinals 14 to two, including four nil on goal. Bouncing ball in front, headed away. In front, Zuccotti, save made by Constant. And Quick gonna, card. Yeah, and it's, it's the right call to make there. I mean, trailing behind by a decent little bit there. I believe it was Raul Carillo. We'll wait for the confirmation. But he had a handful of Jersey and there was some tugging and now we've got a little exchange of words and physicality. Ladies and gentlemen at 57 minutes 33 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott game clock yellow card for the Vaqueros number 21 Raul Carrillo. Indeed it is on Raul Carrillo that yellow card. He had a handful of jersey and just kind of grabbed the shoulder and spun for number 21 Carrillo of the Vaqueros. Navarro for Incarnate Word and that's what leads to that yellow and a pretty good restart here for the Cardinals. Carrillo was just being beat down the line there and made up for it with physicality, earning the quick yellow. Cardinals coming into the box, Perez. Angles. Zuccotti. Now, if you're coaching Lada for Incarnate Word, you've got to start thinking about getting some type of a counterattack built. We've had such strong showings the last two matches. We talked about it earlier. 2-1 victory over Santa Clara. 2-0 victory over WAC opponent, Utah Tech. Back-to-back -back matches against members of the WAC in Utah Tech and UTRGV. You've scored at least two goals in each of your last two matches, but this UTRGV defense has stymied you thus far. You're looking for a breakthrough. Play, Brian. Right in the box. Here come the Vaqueros. Shot goes high. 
That was eerily close for Jason Robles. Just a little bit high. Substitution now for UTRGV. So it looks like Yusef Jejulu is going to get a rest. Ladies and gentlemen, at 60 minutes, 40 seconds. Looks like he'll be replaced by Nico Allen James for UTRGV. UTRGV substitution, checking in for your vaqueros. Number 12, Oniko Allen. For number 10, Yusef Jujualu. Number 12, Allen. For number 12, Jujualu. At 60 minutes and 40 seconds on our Town Play Suites by Marriott Game Clock. At the same time, checking in for the Cardinals, number 8, Luis Zuniga. For number 30, Cesar Elizalde. Number 8, Zuniga. For number 30, Elizalde. At 60 minutes, 40 seconds on our Town Play Suites by Marriott Game Clock. Substitution also for Incarnate Word. Luis Zuniga comes in. He'll replace Cesar Elizalde, who checked back in to open the second half. All those substitutions coming in the 63 minute mark. Perez turns the corner. Out it goes. It was off Gonzalez, and he got got him in a awkward spot, I think, as he heads down to the ground. The clock stops at 27:50. It caught him right there on that shin guard. That does not tickle. That's why you wear the shin guards, because a full throttle kick to that very tender area on the front of the leg stings quite a bit. The shin guard does kind of deflect some of that sting away, but you're still going to feel it. Gonzalez is up. We're ready to go. Corner kick, Cardinals. First corner kick of the day for Incarnate Word. Deflected out of the box. And sent back to midfield. Ball heads out to the right. Corner kick, Cardinals. Cardinals get a corner kick. That time Wild Dove, it was already out. Throw in coming for Incarnate Word. Another yellow card. Not quite sure what that yellow card is for. going to have to be against Incarnate Word because the ball is going to belong to UTRGV. It's on Eduardo Perez. I didn't see what happened. Maybe some words exchange. I didn't see anything physically occurring. Ladies and gentlemen, at 63 minutes, 27 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Yellow card for the Cardinals, number 10, Eduardo Perez. A yellow card has been given to number 10, Perez, of the Cardinals at 63 minutes. 27 seconds on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Yeah, you know, I realize today is the first day of fall Session two for anybody in an accelerated master's program here at UTRGV. Some, I know some of the UTRGV student athletes are in those accelerated master's programs, some of the graduate students. 
If you go seven weeks, you get a week off. You go another seven weeks, so you get in. And you can take up to two classes in a module, so you can get in your four classes in a semester, taking two at a time. Did that when I got my MBA at UTRGV a couple years ago. Have a similar setup for the new Master of Arts in Higher Education Administration. First cohort started today. The second cohort, of which I am a part, starts in January. Brand new degree. I don't know of many of any schools doing something like that. The idea being to basically train your existing staff to become the future of your university. I think it's a really cool concept. I'm really excited to be a part of it. Honored to be a part of the second cohort and the first, yeah, really the first group. There are 50 in each of the first two cohorts. It's constant kicks that one away. And it was cool to see so many people sign up for it. Cardinals coming to the box. Now it's kicked away because, you know, why do you get into college athletics? Why do you get into higher education? It's, it's about the students, student athlete experience. It's about helping to lift these kids up and help them prepare them for excellence in life, whatever that might mean, whether it's going pro in sports or something else. And that's why you get into college athletics. It's not about which sport a student athlete is playing. It's about helping them to grow and help them become the best version of themselves. I mean, it's really such a, a, a cool thing to be a part of, such a fulfilling thing to help student athletes succeed. There's a reason their title is student athlete, not athletic student. Student comes first. From the perspective of a college professor, I can say you really do see that with student athletes. The only way they can be successful is having their studies really in check. And it's really a pleasure to watch these student athletes work in the classroom, the effort they put into ensuring that they're successful in the classroom and how that carries over to their ability to be successful as athletes as well. The time management skills you learn from that, wow. Look, we're going to get a really nice free kick opportunity here for Incarnate Word. About 25 feet out of the box. Hard tackle. And that's point blank range, almost dead center. Last go, doesn't make it through. I think he got somebody in the face. They're gonna have to stop play. I believe that's Oniko Allen. No, it's Sukati. Stop the clock at 21.50. I don't think they've beckoned the trainer out yet, though. The Wild ran over to the goal to go grab a bottle of water. And now Sukati sitting up, standing up. Gets a swig, and he's good, good enough, at least, to continue. <laughs> uh, you know, it got him in the chest. The way he went down, perhaps he just had the wind knocked out of him. If you ever had that occur, it's not a fun feeling to have. It takes a minute just to kind of get your breath back under you. If I had that occur, they'd be taking me off the field. <laughs> 
Offside the call there on Robles and Carnot Word will start it back up. Brian would be good though. I mean I've got a little more padding. Well, you're a cross country runner. You've got the the lungs for it. Yeah. It does not tickle. <laughs> Foul there against Incarnate Word. You charge he's going to get a nice restart. But back to what we were speaking of earlier, just what a phenomenal example student athletes set. I can say from the perspective of a college professor that the way they communicate with their professors about when they'll be out, asking what they can do to make sure they don't fall behind, what they can do to ensure that they're picking up everything they need to, to be successful. Ball ahead into the box, offside. Just phenomenal. And there's nothing more inspiring than seeing the effort these student athletes put into their work in the classroom and their performance on their field of play. It makes me so happy to hear. It's very fulfilling to be on the other side of it to help them reach their potential. It's all about student athlete success and making sure that all student athletes have everything they need to be successful in all facets. Carrillo, try and clear it away, get it to Allen who gets pulled on the jersey, that's a foul. So they're gonna stop the clock, are they gonna card? On a jersey tug? They are. Yellow card issued. And that's probably a knee jerk reaction to the amount of contact we've seen. That card looks like it's gonna go against Luis Zuniga. So both teams have been admonished a couple times about the physicality, especially on breakaway opportunities here. And I think because of that admonishment, the referee is saying, I'm not gonna let that stuff slide any longer. And that time Zuniga, I mean, very clearly has a hold of the back of the jersey. He's actually pulling back on the player. It was very obvious. And the official says, no, I've, I've already admonished both teams. That's gonna earn a card this time. So this is the first of two matchups between these two schools this week. Women's tennis is up at the at a ten, at an uh, all weekend by event hosted by Incarnate Word, Yellow Friday card through Sunday. Eight, in the fall, they don't Zuniga. play team versus team; it's all individual stuff at tournaments. Incarnate Word hosting and UTRGV women's tennis will be up there. Have a little preface there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 71 minutes, 24 seconds, and our town play sweeps by Marriott Game Clock. Vaquero substitution. Also wanted to mention one other team on the road this weekend, because I misspoke earlier. For number 21, uh, Raul women's Raul golf. Carrillo. It's taking on Texas and Corpus Christi a match play on Saturday. A couple of substitutions now for UTRGV coming in. Fernando Barrientos will replace Jose Cantu. Finn O'Connor. Beto Carrillo gets knocked down. And that's another foul. And a good opportunity now for UTRGV. Finn O'Connor checked in to replace Raul Carillo. One substitution for Incarnate Word. Francisco Segura comes back in to replace Eduardo Perez. All those substitutions coming in the 73rd minute. UTRGV looking for insurance scoring right here on the free kick. Juan Pablo Gonzalez backs up. <laughs> Sends it in, a little bend. Comes out toward the top. He 
Gonzalez trying to settle it. Has it near his feet, surrounded by red kits. There's Singh. Gonzalez has it again. Leaves it for Allen. Allen fires and it goes wide right. Allen. Ball ahead for Zuccotti. Ball gets sent away and diving out to grab it is constant. About 15 and a half minutes to play. Vaquero's hanging on to that 1-0 lead. They've had it since late first half. A goal by Michael Washington. Had a lot of opportunities. All five shots on goal belong to the Vaqueros. The shots are 17 to two in favor of UTRGV. Just keep knocking on that door. Opportunity from the box, shot, score! <laughs> Aniko Allen puts it in. And UTRGV takes a 2 0 lead. And that was a long dribble for Allen. And he pushes that all the way to the line and somehow finds the angle to cook that in. And the Luchadors are now doing a rocket number. They are loving the score by Nico Allen. What a score, what a spectacular drive from Nico Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, at 75 minutes and 25 seconds in our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock, score the Vaqueros goal for number 12, Oniko Allen. And give the assist to number 14, Jason Ribley. So for Allen. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, at 75 it minutes. It is goal number seconds, two. Jason Robles gets the assist, his Game fifth. Vaquero goal for number 12, Allen. The assist to number 14, Robles. TRGV has kept knocking on the door. They have knocked it down twice. And they've got a 2-0 lead with less than 14 minutes to play. I think head coach Brahim Hancock has got to be ecstatic with his team's play offensively. They are just absolutely dominating the attack right now. And get another yellow issue against UTRGV here for that very hard tackle. With a third yellow, there have now been three yellow cards on each team, and that one belongs to Finn O'Connor. Are they all in the second half? That is something we can check. They are. All no, of the second half. There was one in the first half. The one on M uh, Emana was in the first half, in the 33rd minute. 
All the others have been from the 51st Ladies minute and beyond. 76 minutes, 26 seconds. And our town play sweeps by Marriott Game Clock. A yellow card has been given to the Vaqueros, number 22, Finn O'Connor. At 76 minutes and 26 seconds. And our town play sweeps by Marriott Game Clock. Yellow card for the Vaqueros, number 22, O'Connor. All the cards issued against UTRGV have come in the second half. Yes, they have. With them up. Two with one, uh, one nil, one at two nil. <laughs> O'Connor. Shot, save made by Constant. This is gonna lead to a really deep throw in for Incarnate Word. Give Constant some credit. Once he picked that save, he was racing out to the line to get that attack built for Incarnate Word. It worked out pretty well. They found themselves in the attacking third with a good throw-in opportunity. Ball comes out to Carlson. Long one coming wide, and Lopez with the cross, popped up and out. Corner kick coming for Incarnate Word. They're third, or rather, yeah, they're third. Gonna get a substitution now for Incarnate Word. No, they'll hold that substitution for a moment. We'll get the corner first. Shot, save made by Wild. Ospina sent a grounder in and Wild was there. First shot on goal of the day. First save by Wild. He's now 10 and a half minutes from a clean sheet in his first Division I action for his hometown team. Something to hang your hat on. Ladies and gentlemen, now we'll get that substitution for Incarnate Word. Taking a seat is Correct. going to be Barnaby Lopez. On our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Substitution number 19, Joel Perez. Coming Pérez. in to replace Checks Lopez, in number, number 19, five, Joel Perez. Perez for Lopez. And occurring in the 80th minute. On our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. You know why a guy like Garrett Wilde gets this opportunity? It's not because, well, there's a non-conference match at the end of the year, so we'll give you a chance. It's because he works hard. Think about this. UTRGV has used two keepers all year. Simon Madsen and Alexis Gonzalez, and they've played every single minute. Wilde hadn't had an opportunity. At some point, it would have been easy for him to mail it in and say, well, I'm just not going to play this year. And not work hard in practice and training. But he didn't. He continued to work hard, and he earned the opportunity. Nothing is given, it's earned. And what a job Garrett Wilde has done to earn that opportunity, he's played very well today. Remember, saves aren't the only, they may be the only real stat for a keeper, but hardly the only way you can measure them. Well, it's your defensive captain on the field, on the pitch. A good keeper is communicating at a high level with that back line defense, telling him where that he needs them to be, the positioning. He can see things on the pitch that no one else can see from his vantage point in net. So a really good keeper makes your defense just that much better. And the shoe charge of your defense has been spectacular all evening.
Eight and a half minutes to play. Long pass ahead toward the side of the box. Look at the moves. Here comes Engels up the right side. Engels with the cross. Allen through two defenders. Left side, Allen. It will retain control. Sends it up for Gonzalez. Barrientos back to Gonzalez. Patty for Gonzalez. Had a foul call, and I believe we're going to get a card off of it. Indeed, we will. Another yellow card. That one going against Joel Perez, an incarnate word. There's now four yellow cards on the Cardinals today. Three of them have been on subs. They've only had four subs. Ladies and gentlemen, at 83 minutes in our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock, a yellow card has been given to number 19, Joel Perez of the Cardinals. Yellow card to number 19, Perez, at 83 minutes on our town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Engels sends that one out off a of Cardinal, so the Vicaros will get a throw in. First a substitution. At 83 minutes and 30 seconds in our town play suites by Mary Coming out for you, Charge of is going to be Jan Engels. Now checking in, number 25. Out of Coming in to replace Duran, Jan Engels. For number seven, Jan Engels. Number 25, Duran. Duran. Duran for Engels. Duran Engels. For Engels. 83 minutes, 30 seconds. On our town and the play 84th minute. Area, game clock. Into the box, headed away. Barrientos. Is that one downfield? Sukati. Allen. Unable to hold on to it. Gonzalez, contact to the jersey, a foul, a free kick coming. And you may say, well, that's just a little bit of jersey tugging, but that's been consistently called all evening. Anytime you get a handful of jersey and you're pulling back on the player, that's been called a foul. Toward the net and headed away. Just over four minutes to play.
Constant sends it away. Head for Allen. Tries to get through two defenders. The ball rolls to Constant, who picks it up with three and a half minutes to go. Foul, free kick coming, and Carnot Ward quick to start it up. They need two goals just to tie in the next three minutes. Three to win. Constant comes all the way up. Take the free kick. And Carnot Ward tries to increase their scoring chances by literally putting everyone forward. And <laughs> hey, that ball went right to Wild. Goalkeeper's gonna get himself a shot on goal. TRGV, constant will kick off with 2.10 to play. That's <laughs> straight out. Carlos will throw it in. Constant picks it up, rolls it out. Allen. That's a foul and a free kick coming. One minute, one minute remains on the town play suites by Marriott Game Clock. Send it back for Gonzalez. Twenty seconds to play. And when it's off of Beto Carrillo, ten, ten seconds nine, left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That'll do it. UTRGV defeats Incarnate Word, Word by a count of two to zero. Brian, what does the final scoring and the final numbers look like? Well, you know the final score, 2-0 in favor of UTRGV. Goals to Nico Allen and Michael Washington. UTRGV 